Hello everyone and welcome. My name is John and in this video I'm going to be pruning these two plants and just talking a little bit about pruning because I want people to just be more comfortable with this and I know it's very scary for newer plant parents to think about actually removing healthy growth but there are some reasons to do this and I did another pruning video recently or was pruning some of my ficuses and some other trees. Today I'm going to be going to be pruning these two philodendrons and so I just want to show, let you know that it's totally okay and can be very helpful and also just to give you some examples so you can decide for yourself whether this looks better before or after. All right so recently I posted a reel on Instagram of pruning a philodendron hope that I have outside and what happened is over time the leaves got a lot of damage from excess light and cold over the winter and so the leaves had some discoloration and they were kind of droopy and stretched out. So I cut all of the old growth off, left only the new leaves from this year. And immediately after that, it just started exploding with growth. So I got super excited about pruning my plants after that because all of the resources it was using to support all of those leaves, it now was just directing towards new growth. So literally within a few weeks after cutting off all of those old leaves, the plant is back to the same size it was before. It looks amazing. And so I'm going to be pruning both of these, both for the way they look and to just help them focus their energy more on that newer growth. Now this Congo Rojo here, um, beautiful, lovely specimen. I have this garden Velcro here. Normally I have this slid up. Ta-da! <laughs> So I normally kind of have it like that because it looks like extra dense, bushy, and perky. But over time, especially indoors, these leaves are going to reach out and down. Um, it's a really full plant, so I just want to start taking off the bottom leaves, working my way up until it gets to a style that I'm happy with. So I'm going to go for a little more of a cleaner look here. Um, and I'll, <laughs> I'll stop restraining it with this Velcro. I've been forcing it into this position for a while now. And then for the Birkin, it just has all these tiny green leaves from when it was a baby that it really just no longer needs those. And they're kind of detracting, um, pulling my focus away from these beautiful, beautiful newer leaves, um, which are the ones that we're really looking for when we're growing a, a Birkin. All right, so let's get some quick before photos and then we'll start chopping these up. Okay, so first I'm just gonna remove this Velcro here. Okay, so this lower leaf is already on its way out, so that's gotta go. So I'm just uh, starting with all the lowest leaves. And yeah, I mean, they still look good. Totally fine to leave it like this, obviously. That's a personal choice, but I do wanna just clean it up a bit and really highlight the newer, those newer beautiful leaves that are coming through. Okay, so the first handful were easy. Now I gotta start making some real <laughs> style decisions here. Uh, but I do like the way this looks already. Okay, I mean, th this looks good, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these uh, droopier leaves out of here. <laughs> plant was having a really good day until now. Okay, almost there. Do you see it? All right, should I be really hardcore and take a couple more? Okay, at least this one. All right, so this is like the only one left that is still kind of a uh, horizontal. All these other ones are at least slightly upward in their trajectory. If I turn it away from the window, this might come up towards the light. Um, I'm not sure. All right. Well, I don't know. Um, I'm going to think about that. So maybe I'll do it later or not, but I can always do it later and I can't undo it. Uh, yeah. So the one big downside to this, to these, both of these plants, none of these are viable cuttings. There's no nodes anywhere here on the leaf stems, like with the viney type philodendrons, you have to cut all the way back into the trunk here. Um, in order to make a, a cutting. So unfortunately, all these beautiful leaves here that are just gonna become compost. Although that's cool too. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I just like the space now between the leaves. I go through these phases where I want everything dense and bushy, and then I want things like clean and minimalistic. Uh, and the good thing about plants is you can go back and forth. You can grow it out, get something real bushy, trim it back so it's nice and clean, and then just grow it out again. I'm hoping this responds the same way my philodendron hope did, which just started shooting out so many amazing, bigger, nicer new leaves right away. Yeah, okay, happy with that. Okay, so this one's gonna be easier because I'm just taking off the leaves that are tiny and all green. The plant just doesn't need those anymore, but it is still sending resources there, sending moisture and nutrients to these leaves. So I wanted to just send all of that upwards and focus on the new, that new, new. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna take these plants back to the room and they're both, both gonna be like, dude, what the, what just happened exactly? Um, yeah, we don't need you. Sometimes, uh, sometimes within the petiole here, there'll be like an aerial root kind of stuck in there. So I'm making sure I'm not cutting those off. That's pretty good. You can see this thing is still young and perky. So it like reaches towards the window and then I turn it and it reaches back. So I'm gonna have it like this for the next week or so. And it's gonna all come back this way towards the light. So not a huge change there, but it is cleaner. And now there's nothing getting in the way of my eyes going to these newer leaves. Um, it's also gonna be a little easier to water so I'm not hitting the leaves and splashing. Yeah, so clean, so clean. Oh wait, there's one more. All right. So I also do need to prune this ficus audrey today um, because it is growing this branch here straight out to the side and it's literally almost as tall as the whole plant. Look at this thing. This thing is like maybe three feet tall at the most and I do not want a branch going three feet out to the side. So when you have a tree like this, um, you can do what's called directional pruning, which means that depending on where I cut it, the new stem is gonna go in that same direction as the current, as the one leaf that I leave there. So if I cut it here, this new stem is gonna shoot out to the side this way if I cut it here, this stem is, new stem is gonna try to shoot straight up. So I'm gonna cut it all the way back to here so that this stem just starts going up so it's kind of in line with the main trunk because I'm down to have a bunch of branches here but at this stage with this level of height, I do not want the plant going out horizontally at all. Now there's also some discoloration down here so y'all gotta go. So these leaves are still fine. They're just, they're past their prime. All right, so I don't wanna cut all the way back against here. I wanna leave a little bit, half inch or so, because that's where the new nodes are. There's dormant buds in there. So I'm gonna cut it right here. Ta-da! Now I could propagate this, um, but I don't think I will because I have so many propagation projects going on right now. And yeah, I just don't want another plant to to take care of. Okay, so now this is gonna send out a branch here. It might send out multiple branches along all of these nodes, and then hopefully those all just go up and this starts getting denser and denser. More and more dense, if you like. Yeah, and now I have ficus sap on my <laughs> freshly styled Congo Rojo. Congo Rojo. Okay, so that is gonna do it for this pruning session today. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Please let me know in the comment section, yes or no. Does this look better or not? What do you think? Um, I think it looks better, but I'm just curious what you think and if this is something you've tried before or would you like to try in the future. The, the best way to do it is just like you saw me, start with the lowest and oldest leaves and just keep working your way up until you get to a look you're happy with. And if you're on the fence, just leave, just leave some extra leaves on there because you can take them off later on. But once you get into the pruning game, I think this will just become another enjoyable, fun part of your plant parenthood. And so I really encourage you to give it some thought and give it a try when you feel ready. All right, so that's gonna do it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video and I wish you all the best with your plants and with your life. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Peace.